Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, today I'm going to be talking about why the Quran has been changed from it, and evidence for that from Islamic sources. But before I do, I want to encourage you to watch this whole video because there's a lot of great information that I'll be giving that I want you guys to use when coming in, in contact with Muslims and how you can convert them to Christianity. And also in the description box of all my videos, like always, I post a long comment with evidence for Christianity. Please check that out. If you're not a Christian and or if you're a skeptic or a Muslim, Buddhist, whatever you may be, please read the evidence I present and let me know what you think about it. And if you're a Christian, I also encourage you to read the evidence I present and please spread this. Also in the description box of all my videos, I have a message about end times, coming events, fulfilled Bible prophecy that I want you guys to check out. Please read that also. Now getting on to why the Quran has been changed, we have to go to a highly trusted Muslim source that is Sahih al-Bukhari. It's volume 6, book 61, number 510. It says, I'm just going to be read, reading a part of it. You can read the you can read the top part of it if you want, but I'm just going to be read, reading this verse to you. It says, Uthman sent to every Muslim province one copy of what they had copied in order that all the other Quranic materials, whether written in fragmentary manuscripts or whole copies, be burnt. Sahid ben Tabit added, A verse from Surat Azad was missed by me when we copied the Quran and I used to hear Allah's Apostle reciting it. So simply put, Uthman he, he got together um, he got together manuscripts of the Quran and there were many different manuscripts going around and when Muslims say oh the Quran has been preserved if the Quran was preserved why was it that after Muhammad's death there was many different manuscripts going around if the Quran is the word of God why is there why do the manuscripts why did they defer and that Uthman had to get together the manuscripts and burn them and the ironic thing about this is that in a Muslim country, if you burn a Quran, that's I believe that's in some Muslim countries, or I should say, that's punishable by death. And the fact that one of the original Muslims, he took the manuscripts and he burnt it and he changed it and he recopied it, shows you that the original manuscripts of the Quran were burnt. So we don't even know what they say. And the Quran has been changed because the original manuscripts were burnt and Uthman uh, had to recopy it and as it says over here a, a verse was missed so this is interesting because Muslims are always claiming that the Bible has been changed but the Quran has been changed because Uthman burned the original manuscripts and when we go to the Quran of what it says about the Bible the Quran says that the Bible is from God so this is Quran 547 you can look this up yourself it says let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed therein and whoever does not judge by what Allah has revealed, then it is those who are defiantly disobedient. So over here it says that Allah gave us the gospel. And as you know, the gospel is the first four books of the New Testament. And the gospel, the word gospel means good news. And the good news is that Jesus Christ has died for our sins. And since we have manuscripts of the New Testament from around the time where the Quran was written, we know what the Christians of the of Muhammad's time believed. So the fact that we have manuscripts of this time, and at this time the Quran says that God gave us the gospel, that's more evidence towards Christianity. So this is interesting that why don't why aren't Muslims Christian when in reality the Quran says that God gave us the Bible? And Muslims say, Oh, the Bible has been changed. But the problem with that is if Allah gave us the Bible, but the Bible has been changed. That creates a contradiction because the Quran also says that Allah's words cannot be changed. We can also prove that the Bible has been preserved because we have so many manuscripts of it. If you go, if you go to this website, I'll include a link to it down in the description. They're just manuscripts on top of manuscripts of the Bible. And these manuscripts verify with the modern Christian Bible. And over the, for, for the Old Testament, we have manuscripts of it. That date back to um, that date back to 200 to 250 BC. That was even that was before Jesus was even born. And for the New Testament, we have manuscripts that date back all the way to 100 AD. And with those manuscripts, we can prove that the Bible has been preserved. And we'll be taking a look at a manuscript right now. But I just want to show you for the New Testament, there's over 5,000 manuscripts. There's more manuscripts of the New Testament than for any other book in the world. 
and the Quran the Quran doesn't have impressive manuscripts like this because the Quran was changed and the and the manuscripts of the Quran were burned. And even if we didn't have these manuscripts that show the Bible has been preserved, we also have the Quran which says that God gave us the God gave us the the Bible and that God's word cannot be changed. So if you can speak the language, this is written in Greek. If you can speak the language that you can you can get a translator or if you don't believe me you can get a translator or like a historian to open up a modern bible and click on any of these manuscripts and she see that it verifies and we just have so many manuscripts of the new testament so when muslims say that the gospels have been have been changed and corrupted that's a flat out lie all the evidence that we have shows that the bible has been preserved and we have evidence that the quran has been changed so the quran can't be trusted so to all the Muslims out there, I, I guess this is a wake up call for you. I, I, I pray that you give the Bible a chance and you consider the things I said. And I say this out of love. I, I love all Muslims just like I love all Christians. So I'm not saying this as a I don't I'm not saying this with hate in my heart. I'm saying this out of love. I want you guys to come to the truth. The truth of Jesus Christ, the love of Jesus Christ. I love you guys and I pray that you consider some of the things I said in this video. Thank you for listening. All glory to God. God bless.